This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is my wife, Emily Frankel. And what do I do when I'm sitting here? You give us the subject of our talk. And the subject is one that I worked on. Yes. So that it was a John Cullum subject. Oh, really? John Cullum subjects are intellectual. Oh, Emily's <laughs> subjects are peeky boo, peeky peekabooing. I'm a peekabooer. Yeah. And John is a philosopher. Yeah. So philosopher John, I want to know <laughs> why in the world do you love History. You talk about history. You study history. You read history late at night when you can't sleep. You read history in the morning. You read history. Why do you love history? Well, I uh, I never thought of myself as loving history, and in fact, I I practically failed history in college. Uh, because Why? It, well, because I didn't read any of the history. You're talking about when you think I'm reading history, I'm actually reading, uh, usually reading about people uh, in a different time period. For instance, I've been reading. Oh come on! Lately. That's just a bunch of interesting. No, no. But I'm, I'm, I, I've read, I've reread Aeschylus. Euripides and Sophocles, and they were in 500 B.C., uh, and, uh, and and I find that extraordinary to, you know, they're, they're different. Do you get that, folks? He reread what? Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides. This now is, this is now what I'm, I'm on Plato. And, and, uh, he uh, goes online for his Kindle, and he <laughs> looks up these old, 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 old guys. Yeah, because because they're usually free. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not to do with your money thing. This has to do with your... You just made a sentence. You like history because of the people that lived in different times. Yeah. And it, it, it is extraordinary. Oh, hum. Oh, hum. <laughs> well, it's kind, of, when, it's kind of funny when you think that people 3,000 years ago think about the same things that we think about in, in uh, 2017. Well, no, they don't. Oh, yes, uh, they do. I mean, uh, we, we have... Uh, you, you, even the most uh, grotesque stories, like uh, Agamemnon, where uh, Clytemnestra murders uh, her husband listen, listen to him here uh, we go murders yes. her husband yes. in the in the bathtub yes and then later gets murdered by her son in retribution for it in the bathtub no not in the bathtub uh, they, that's it's even more scary than that uh, she, she knows she's going to be killed by her daughter and son and uh, they they tell her and uh, she she uh, she has to suffer that, and and she also knows. But of course, here he goes. See, he's going right into it. He's this is what John loves, <laughs> yeah. and so I don't have much to talk to him about except what do you want for dinner? Would you take out the garbage? Where is Phil coming today to empty the recycle bin? And you want to talk about? Clytemnestra and her kids. No, I talk about the garbage and, and I talk and about Aeschylus and Aristophanes. I talk about all the things that we do in our in our house. And Shakespeare. And <laughs> other than the old, old, old guys. Yeah, well Shakespeare. Shaky. He loves Shaky. Yes, I do. And um, I, so, like, I like uh, did you ever try to write a play about one of these guys who did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I tried to write a play. Prometheus. Ab ab Prometheus A.D. It was about a guy who was directing the production of Prometheus. And I started writing it, and you immediately got interested in writing a play, and that was the end of my Prometheus because oh, we on. spent all my. You mean oh, I ruined, yeah, I ruined your you, opportunity? No, you didn't ruin it, but I just became more interested in your play, which was uh, a, an, an interesting play that we did 
uh, you you wrote the play based on the fact that we didn't have a theater and we were going to do it in a parking lot and and you made a play that that fit the parking lot well that's a different subject no, folks I, I want you just to realize if you meet John on the street, don't yeah. say, hello, John, how are you? What, <laughs> what are you working on? Just say, oh, I was just wondering how you're doing with reading about Plato. <laughs> and have you read, did you read Sophocles? Sophocles is what? So uh, well, there's Sophocles is the playwright. I'm also reading, Plato is, uses Socrates, which is uh, the, the philosopher. And, uh, Please don't tell us. He's a long-winded kind of guy. He, okay, he, you're a short-winded <laughs> history lover, and that's the end of this, but I admire this endless brain, though I have to admit, sometimes I'm bored. Okay, thank you very much for listening to this. Well, I'm glad uh, that you brought it su subject up and we got we cleared the air on this. Yes, we did. Yes. Thank you very much. We will what? See you next week. This is AIR. See you next week.